Hello preppers, welcome to another video. Um, today we're talking about recession because we have just officially gone into one in the UK. Now recession is where you have two quarters of negative growth back to back and the last quarter was a minus 0.3% economy shrink. So it's not a major recession like we saw previously um but it is the signs are there that it could get worse um however roger g walb i want to say that right um former bank of england advisor said it's probably a bit of a blip and i wouldn't be concerned about it he said that on gb news um not being concerned about it is not really our forte as preppers. We like to prepare. Um, so how do you prepare for something like this? Uh, so what happens during a recession? Uh, during a recession, there's less money circulating, less money for workers from their employers, less money being spent in shops and restaurants, less money going to the government for taxes, from wages to pay for stuff like benefits and things like that. Um, employers might look to make savings, which means no new employees, no pay rises, um, but prices probably will continue to grow um, as they have been doing recently. So the cost of living could potentially get a lot worse, especially without pay rises to compensate for that. Things like getting a mortgage or a loan during a recession um, will be harder because banks tighten up their lending criteria as well um, so and it can have a knock-on effect across the entire world as we've seen before but what can we do so I've suffered through our previous larger recession I lost my job during that one and we had to live off the preps pretty much for that period so Luckily, I had a full pantry, um, so that's the one main thing you can look at, uh, is a full pantry of food to last. If you lost your job and it took you a month or two months to get another job, so it's not just the end of the world scenario, can you live off that pantry for a good period of time and feed your whole family? That's one of the key things to look at. Um, you can get insurance policies against losing your job. Uh, I know a friend that had this and lost his job and it paid him a wage for a good four or five months until he found something else. So that did really help him out. That's something you can look into. Um, and it's worth prepping, thinking about prepping on your electricity and things like that as well. So if you're on meters, making letting that build up over time so you've got a good shortfall there. Even if you pay via bill, you can overpay electricity and gas companies, so you're in credit. So these are things, little things you can do to prepare just in case, because when I lost my job, it was a very secure job as far as I knew. There was no signs that I was going to lose my job. There was no issues within the workplace. It was just all of a sudden done. And that company now no longer exists, so they went rapidly downhill. So... Just bear that in mind. Um, keep a close eye on this one. It, it hopefully is just a blip, and the next quarter we see an increase. But if it's the start of a complete recession, we're looking at job losses, things like that, really hard times if it gets that way. Personally, don't think it will, but there's always a good reason to prep, and this is a good a reason effort as any where you can look to your family and tell them this is what i'm doing and this is why i'm doing it because this is a real potential threat if i lose my job how are we going to eat so a lot of people have asked me how do you get family on board girlfriends on board boyfriends on board etc this is one way of doing that the fact that we are now in a recession is more than enough reason to begin your preps so just wanted to update on that one. Don't want you seeing the word recession everywhere all over these YouTube thumbnails. You know, we all do it. It's all clickbait. But I don't want you panicking with that. It could just be a blip. It is only minus 0 0.3 as opposed to minus 3. Um, so just keep it in the back of your mind. Keep a close eye on it. But maybe look at 
how you would survive if your source of income stopped tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Loads more content coming soon. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.